have this structure here. We've been working on this for a while. We want to perform a building analysis on this, and we'll be assuming that it's just having a roof right on top of it. We are supposed to put a beam here, even if there's going to be a roof going on top of it, but we're not going to do that. We just want to focus on doing our building analysis for now. So perform building analysis on this, what you need to do first is to ensure that you have decomposed all your loads from the slab to the beams and the columns. Well, for now, there is no foundation. This is acting as a pseudo foundation for this structure. So let's go and decompose our loads. We've already decomposed the loads for this particular project. Channel main size is 800. Mesh uniformity factor is 25. We leave it as default there. And this is our story. Our story height. And story height is 3.00. We go here and press OK. And we press OK. So it's performing the decomposition of loads. It's performing it. So we allow it to do its thing. And then it's done. And when it's done, it pops up with this. So you can read this. I'll just go here and press OK. Once I do it, it's going to pop up with this question. So I want to apply to all beams in the model. So I'll do this. So now I have my node decomposed. And now I have to go and adjust my settings in my analysis tab. So I go to building analysis right here to adjust my settings. So first I need to go to this pre-analysis tab to you know, edit material. For columns, I will choose 1620. You know, you could actually choose other grades, but I prefer 1620 because I'm designing for the worst. You should always design for the worst conditions on site, especially if you're not going to be the one to execute the project. For our C1620, you have 24,000 Newton per meter square as your modulus of elasticity, and you have your cast axis strength, the FCK, as 20 Newton per millimeter squared. We can go here and press OK. Then we want our river to be grade 410. Also, this is also in line with trying to design for the worst possible conditions on site, especially in the case of we are not being the one to execute the project. You still want the project to be safely executed. Okay, that this particular project only has columns and beams and the slab. We encourage you to check our next video for the next stage of your building analysis. The link is provided in the description. Thanks for watching and bye for now.